don't just all of a sudden believe that. Because some people just don't like black people and want to just tell on black people and think it's okay. But that's why I like the Karen theory. You know, um, you know um, uh, I feel sorry sometimes for the people named Karen. is white, bless your hearts. But, you know, because people have started getting people on, ca on camera showing I'm not doing nothing. But this woman is saying she's going to call the police on me. And I think a guy can be a Karen. Because sometimes these guys are you be like, you ain't done nothing to you. I'm just in the area. But they only want to see you in the area, you know. They don't want to see the black body where they at, period. And I'm like, well, honey, you got to go to space or somewhere. But I think there's black people... <laughs> I think there's black people in space too, but um, you can't get away from everywhere. Um, so anyway, um, I'm your girl Michelle Hope Walker, so I'm going to wrap this up, but protect black women. Whenever you're somewhere, then make sure you're judging black women in a positive manner. And again, thank God for social media, but this stuff goes all over the world. You know, because black people all over the world, and that's why we just don't stick with African American at work, because then that just limits us to black people in America. No, black people all over this world. You know what I'm saying? It's not just black America. Yeah, black people all over. You know what I'm saying? And so, on helping you and how you would um, judge black women, you know, um, you know, make sure that you're giving them the same positive looks that you give a white woman. You don't walk past a white woman and assume she's going to do something on white women. I love you. <laughs> You know, again, I love all y'all, but again, you all are the example because y'all getting the, in our society, especially in American society, rich white men and white women are getting the best because everybody, every race, all of them are trying to give y'all the best service they possibly can because they value you all. Your value um, is at a high level, rich white man, um, white woman, because you ain't even got to be rich white woman for them to bow down and be ready to do everything for you. <laughs> and our black men love you. <laughs> So I love you too. Anyway, oh uh, yeah, no, I'm a comedian. But anyway, um, so um, and then I, I do my own running joke. You know, um, I always talk about you know, but I won't do the joke per se here. But I would just say, people of other races, white people and other races, people that are not black, help us sometimes. <laughs> Because it makes it, I don't know how many times that I have not been doing nothing, and I'm just like, Lord God, what's going on? And a white person step in and help me. Do you know the whole scenario turns around? You know, they was just treating me like I wasn't even a human being. But when this white woman got finished getting on them, when this white man got on their tail, all of a sudden they are calling me Miss Walker. <laughs> They just start giving me some respect and everything. I'll be like, oh my God, I need you white person around me all the time. <laughs> That's why I say y'all need a job. Y'all need to just put yourself out there as consultants. You know, you can't sell each other's day. That's illegal. But put yourself out there as a consultant. White people, y'all got a job all the time. You be a consultant to black people. Help us. <laughs> I know I did that joke like that uh, uh, one time. I know somebody in the audience raised it. Yes, I need you to go to court with me. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, yes. You know what I'm saying? It's just their, your presence. Now that's where their color, white people, your color can be a benefit. <laughs> can be a benefit for us black people. And I know some black people, I don't need no white person around here. And I know what you're saying. I know because we're like, you know, and, and you're right. You know, it, we should not need a person of another skin around us to be treated right. But unfortunately, it is what it is, y'all, sometimes. So, hey, you know, I ain't scared to ask for help. White people, come help me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and shouts out to the Latino uh, population because, again, Latino population, uh, where I live at, you know, pretty much majority, you'll get some of them good ones that they will be there and help you in the Asian culture. And now, again, in some of these cultures, they don't like black people at all. <laughs> but you still have some of them in those cultures, especially when we're talking about the systems, you know. So, um, the um, power structures, you know, so they're a politician or they're a, a police officer, they're security, or there's something in a power structure that can affect your life. Sometimes you will run into some real good ones that love everybody. They will treat you right just as much as they smiling at the white woman, they smile at the black woman. <laughs> you know, they not mistreating you or nothing of the sort. You know, so that's always a blessing and everything. And so, um, so yeah, just protect black women, you know. And I just have, have to constantly have to do that call out in hopes that y'all can protect me. If you send me somewhere, please help make sure. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, just be a day. You know, I just get used to it. I just know how to care about myself. You know, I know that you know, which a lot of times you see me with my little suit, my little gray, you know. And that's just something I just have on a, a plain black shirt, you know. Because it's almost like for black women, we have to dress professional all the time to help. And it can help a little bit of not experiencing for them not to look at you so, you know, in a negative way. They shouldn't be looking at you in a negative way, period, no matter what clothes you have on, because all other races can wear whatever and nobody's looking at them negative, you know. But, um, 
you know, sometimes you're just putting on what you feel like wearing. You run to the store, you run somewhere, you just got on, you know, a shirt and maybe a skirt. To me, I tend to wear skirts, I don't wear jeans as much. But I'm just putting on something, you just run out, you know, you clean, you got clothes on. But again, people misjudge you because you don't have the suit and stuff on. So literally, we have to run around in a suit every day, all day, to be respected and to not have to deal with racism. Even when you got some stuff on, you still end up being, uh, dealing with racism. Um, but it goes back to during COVID times, there was a black kid, I think it was on Good Morning America somewhere where he uh, worked somewhere in the hospital. And so he was talking about pretty much, he wears his scrubs everywhere all the time because he feels like it helps where he's not, he doesn't get as much racism in his scrubs. Um, you know, the blue hospital type um, medical type, so, you know, because it gets people like, oh, okay, no. They're a doctor, or they're doing something medically and helping, you know. But y'all, come on now. Why y'all gonna put that on the black race? Y'all ain't doing that to nobody else that they gotta show y'all their job, you know, on their clothes for y'all to respect them at least. And we ain't talking about respect. We just like treat us right where you're not calling police on us, <laughs> suspicious of us, and tracking us down like we animals and trying to accuse us of doing wrong things. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even got the respect level. We just try at least just don't be calling police on us for nothing, you know, or tracking us like we're doing something wrong. Um, oh, y'all, look, there's the squirrel. I love the squirrels. All right, y'all. So I'm going to wrap this up again. Protect black women, especially if you see me. Your girl, Michelle Walker, please protect me. <laughs> please protect me. Because y'all know I ain't doing nothing. I love everybody. Well, I do these videos because I'm hoping, you know, because sometimes I see on TV where they all of a sudden are all police all surrounded by black women saying she did this and I don't believe, I don't believe everything. I'd be, I'd be like, okay, what happened before the police all surrounded? Because sometimes there's always that back story that people don't really pay attention to. The black woman might have just been in there trying to buy something. She might have been telling them, look, y'all track me. Then the security or police get mad because you call them out on the racism. I don't know why they get mad, but they've seen the whole public discussion of different things. And, and when you're following a black person like that, you're all up on their tail, you know, that, I mean, that's just something not right with that you know what I'm saying so if a black person calls you out on it you can't get too mad about it or wanna I mean because you already know how it is but some of them are that mean and evil that they are purposely doing this to pick with you they ain't got nothing else to do that day and so they decide to pick with you the black woman they come to the store today um you know so again people as you walk past it maybe look and watch Maybe trying to use your, you know, right as a citizen to just say, now what happened? You know, because I didn't, I seen this person, so they weren't doing anything. Why are you all surrounding? You know, you know, be that voice of at least what you've seen of that person. Even if you didn't see none of person, just sit and just look for a moment. You know, find out what's what. You know, like I said, nobody's perfect, nobody's perfect, and, and, and none of the races. So maybe sometimes somebody did do something, but that could be any race. That's not just the black woman or, or the black person. That's any race could do something wrong. You know, but unfortunately, it's the black race and the black woman that's always been looked at first. That's expected to do something wrong or they are suspicious of. Which can, again, there's so many black people in jail because of this. There's so many. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and when we look at the hospitals where you don't get medical treatment because people just don't want to. Some doctors don't want to touch black people. Don't even want to touch the black body. Yeah. So people are medically dying in hospitals and doctors. That has been brought out a lot during this COVID time. We've seen the racism in the hospitals and the doctor's offices. Racism on the buses and the trains. When you can be at a stop, I always pray. I always pray. I hope that there's somebody else at the stop, especially of another race, so the bus will stop. <laughs> uh, and that's what sometimes is so good about trains. At least the train is going to stop at every stop, so you don't have to worry about it passing you. But sometimes, especially... Um, you know, so with asthma, nerve pain, sometimes you had to go to the hospital or something in the hospital. I don't like when hospitals let you out in the middle of the night. I'm like, you had all day. I've been sitting here since this morning, ER room. <laughs> and you let me out at 3 a.m. in the morning. I got to get out here and catch this bus back home. A black woman out at 3 a.m. Unfortunately, again, this is where racism really kicks in. Because when they see you standing on the corner, you, I try to make sure I'm standing right up under the bus sign, y'all, to make sure I'm bus catching the bus. You got all kind of activity going on around you. You got police floating around you because they think you're hoeing or homeless. You got the people, the Joes, what they call them, the Joes is trying to buy you because they think you're selling. And you ain't selling nothing. You just came from the hospital, from the ER. They didn't let you out to the middle of the night. You trying to safely get back down the street home on this bus. And then after enduring all of that at the bus stop, you got to pray and hope that when the bus go by, the bus stops. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Woo, Jesus. Okay. But we keep our joy. But that's just a taste of what I've experienced even. And a lot of the black people are experiencing. You know what I'm saying? Well, and then with these buses, I started to turn on the camera. 
I see a bus coming by, especially if I'm the only one there. If ain't no white people just bus stop with me. I get my card out, you know, so they can't say, well, we didn't think she had the money, get on, but I got my card out, I got my phone, don't look like they about to steer that bus over towards the stop, I turn my camera on, so even if they don't stop, I'm getting video footage of this bus passing me by that has all kind of little numbers on it, so when I send it in <laughs> to the bus company, to let them know, look, this bus pass, you know what I'm saying, but sometimes, you know, we get tired, so you sort of pick your battles, because we deal with racism so much, you got to pick your battle on which one you really want to do lawsuits on and you want to just go all the way through because again you all gotta remember we're just trying to live our life i am a music artist comedian actress i'm just trying to get out here half under y'all know man like that i'm just trying to, but you know you run into these racism encounters just living your life just trying to have fun just trying to go do your music just trying to practice your music just trying to get to the acting gig. Just trying to get to the comedy club. <laughs> These are different things that you endure. Racist acts and, and it just, you get like. So it's not like you never know we're looking for it. It's just, you know, but I love my black skin. You know, cause some people when you talk about like, oh my God, you don't want to be, no, I love black. Oh, don't get it twisted, boo boo. I love my black color. I love being a black woman. I am beautiful. Women, we are beautiful. We are smart. We are educated. We are some loving, kind people. We have to let them know the real narrative. We are beautiful. We are smart, loving, kind people. Black women are not mean women. You know what I'm saying? Every race has their women that have that different type of ways. So they're not gonna put us as the, you know, main race that's mean. No, that's not true. So anyway, protect black women. All right, y'all. I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. You can follow me on social media. So YouTube, Michelle Hope Walker Speaks, um, Instagram. Michelle Hope Walker Speaks. I said YouTube. Yeah, Michelle Hope Walker. Um, Facebook, Michelle Hope Walker Speaks. Period. Listen. And Twitter is um, at Hope underscore, the line on the line, Speaks. Hope underscore Speaks. And then um, TikTok, y'all. Sometimes it just be hard to, my videos are always posted. You don't see many videos on there. But I got a TikTok. I was trying to do, they were having this um, conference or something on TikTok. And you had to sign up to get, then after I did all that to get signed up, and, and got on TikTok. I was able I was able to go to YouTube and watch the con. Like, I didn't even need to sign up to TikTok. But anyway, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So you know, whatever videos I can post, it posts on there. TikTok is at Michelle um, Hope Walker. Yeah, it just has Michelle Hope Walker on the TikTok. All right, y'all. So I'm your girl Michelle Hope Walker, and I'm um, wrapping this up. So today is September 17th, 2022, and protect black women. I'm your girl Michelle Hope Walker.